Hi and welcome to Konas. With over 297,000 inhabitants, it is the second city of Lithuania. And in this city, there is a trolleybus system, which we will discover today. Let's dive in. For the history of the trolleybuses in Konos we go back to the 31st of May of 1965, with the opening of the first route between the district Panemune and the town hall. Over the years extensions have been opened frequently, both before Lithuania regained independence in 1991 as well as after. The first extension to the network opened in 1967, soon after the system's genesis, and the latest extension has been opened in 2013. The original depot, when the system was opened in 1965, was located in the district of Shanche. However, as of 1997, the current depot in the district of Egule opened. This depot can house up to 175 trolleybuses, more than enough for housing the current fleet. In Konos, from the very start, the Skoda 9TR was the main type. Besides that, there were the 14TRs which left service in 2019, upon arrival of the new Solaris Trolino 12s. As their goodbye, various artists got a chance to make a design for a trolleybus, making the trolleybus fleet a driving art gallery. And now let's take a look at the network. This is the Konos Trolleybus Network. The trolleybus network in Konos is quite extensive for a city of the size of Konos, with around 54 kilometers. The trolleybuses are powered by 600 volts overhead wires, and the depot is located at Islandios Plantas. The network is quite interlined, with most sections being served by multiple lines. And actually this network is quite quirky. There are some lines operating in loops, and then there is another line operating in the opposite direction. Also there are some extensions and weekend shortenings, so let's see what it is on the map. We start off with line 1 from Vedorto Gatve to Islandios Plantas. Followed by line 2 from Islandias Plantas to Kono Pilis. This line only operates during weekdays. Line 4 from Vedoto Gatve to Islandias Plantas, but this line follows the section along Parodos Gatve. Line 5 Varnu Gatve to Petra Shune. Line 7 Partizanu Gatve to Kanyuke. Line 8 Drogistis Gatve to Varnu Gatve. Line 9 is a circular route from Petra Shune to the clinics and back to Petra Shune. This route is going clockwise. Line 10, Kedainu Gatve to Partizanu Gatve. Line 10 only operates during weekdays. Line 10A goes from Konopilis to Partizanu Gatve and only drives in the weekend. Line 11, Kanyuke to Islandios Plantas. Line 12, Petrashune to the clinics and back to Petrashune. This is in the opposite direction of line 9. Line 13 is the anti-clockwise route from Islandios Plantas to the city center and back to Islandios Plantas. And line 14 is the same route but then clockwise. Line 15 is the clockwise route from Partizanu Gatve to the city center and back to Partizanu Gatve. And you may have guessed it, but line 16 is the same route but then in the anti-clockwise direction. Which brings us to the vehicles that make up the Konos trolleybus fleet. The Konos trolleybus fleet consists of 142 vehicles and this fleet is predominantly consisting of trolleybuses made by Solaris. The oldest of the two generations, the Solaris Trolino 12-3, were delivered from 2006. There are 42 Solaris Trolino 12-3s in Konas. The youngest generation, the Solaris Trolino 12-4, got delivered throughout 2019 and 2020. This was a rather large order, with 85 trolleybuses being delivered. Konas has also 80 meter trolleybuses since 2016. These are 15 second-hand trolleybuses of the type Berkov Premier 8018, which were previously driving around the streets of Arnhem in the Netherlands. And as mentioned in the history section, in the past the famous 14TR Skoda were also operated in Konos. There are still some remaining at the depot. 
And this brings us to the future. Konos has already put in quite some effort in renewing sections of the trolleybus infrastructure. This is done in an effort to increase the speeds of trolleybuses across the network, where slowing down for driving through a switch is becoming a thing of the past, and where sharper corners are being smoothened. The replacement of the switches with new switches, which can handle higher speeds, as well as a general renewal of the infrastructure, remain a priority project in the strategic plan for 2025. Also in the strategic document is a mention of another fleet renewal, which got me positively surprised. Konos recently just had a rather massive order of 85 new trolleybuses completed. But, apparently, there are plans to renew the remaining 57 trolleybuses in the city too. And with that, we have reached the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video about the trolleybus network of Konos. Please hit the like button and if you would like to see more of my videos in the future, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you very much for watching.